Um, Johan, I mean, I, I mentioned about ransomware transforming. Can you talk to us about what's happening when it comes to cybercrime marketplaces and, and specifically about ransomware and how that is evolving as a service and making it um, affordable and applicable and available, accessible to others out there? Yeah, Jane, and again, thank you for having us. Um, I think this is such an important topic for us. And you know, kind of, we alluded to this already. It is highly organized. We see actors, whether it's a, a state sponsor or a state actor, whether it's somebody with criminal intent or whether it's a hacktivist, some, in some shape or form, the financial industry will always be in the crosshairs of this. Whether they want to steal money, whether they want to dis disrupt a very critical system, uh, somewhere we will always be in the attack. So we, we face a very sophisticated enemy who's collaborating across borders as if there are no borders. I think we should realize that is important. Um, give you an idea, the marketplaces are so well organized, they're being run like companies. I mean, and, and ransomware as a service is like an outsourced service. You can rent uh, the ransomware, you can have somebody executed, you can, um, in fact, w as we look at some of our work that we've done in the UK for scams, we can actually sometimes see how the payments of the ransomware are being split between the criminals in the banking system. So it's a very sophisticated uh, scenario. I'll give you an example of, of this. Some of these companies through the intelligence and working with law enforcement, we've realized that some of these companies have things like they've got corporate structures, they've got parental leave, they've got um, uh, you know, events where they actually motivate their staff, they have, they have structures and, 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 and all sorts of policies like, just like a normal big company does. Uh, a couple of years ago, and Christopher may actually know the details more than I do, but here in the Netherlands, the Netherlands police, together with Europol, the FBI, and a group of, 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 of forces, brought down a, a, a marketplace called Hydra Market. And the idea was to basically run the, run the show, you know, they arrested the criminals, put them in jail, and then the police run the, the, the market to gather the intelligence of all the criminals who were buying and selling things on the, on the dark web. In the end, they had to shut this down weeks in advance because they could not keep up with the demand of the criminals for service. You know, I bought something from Christopher, I didn't get the quality that I wanted, I needed to charge back my money, and the, just the need for customer, it's highly sophisticated. Mm -hmm. So I think the, the key message that I want to bring across is the need, is going to, going to come back to this collective defense, the need for collective defense. We see the criminal element across different spectrums, geographies, uh, types of threat actors collaborating very well together in a highly organized way. Um, and the financial industry is a target no matter what. And like I said, be that for criminal intent or be that for destabilizing an economy, which is why the need for us to work together is so critically important. <laughs>